Good day. I am Roel Maganap Jr., a criminal law student of Attorney Dulay in JMC College of Law. So today we will discuss what is qualified theft. Article 310 of the Revised Penal Code provides that the crime of theft shall be punished by the penalties next higher by two degrees than those respectively specified in the next preceding article. This article also provides the ways of committing a qualified theft. Theft is qualified when the following are present. First, if the theft is committed by domestic servant. Second, if the theft is committed with grave abuse of confidence. Third, if the property stolen is A. Motor vehicle B. Mail matter or C. Large cattle. Fourth, if the property stolen consists of coconuts taken from the premises of the plantation. Fifth, if the property stolen is fish taken from fish pond or fishery. Sixth, if property is taken on the occasion of fire, earthquake, typhoon, volcanic eruption, or any other calamity, vehicular accident, or civil disturbance. To understand clearly what is qualified theft, we will now discuss certain jurisprudence which provides the difference between simple theft and qualified theft, specifically the case of People v. Kok Song. In this case, the accused is charged with qualified theft for stealing and carrying away of the personal belonging of his housemate, Lu Ho. The accused here contends that the crime of simple theft should be charged. This is because there is no grave of use of confidence between him and his housemate. The issue in this case is whether or not the crime of qualified theft is committed. The Supreme Court held no. Because the only fact alleged as constituting said circumstance is that the accused and the offended party were housemates when the crime was committed. While the said fact constitute a certain abuse of confidence because living together in the same roof, although accidentally, is not necessarily grave. This is because there is no allegation in the information of another relation by reason of dependence, guardianship, or vigilance between the accused and the offended party that might create a higher degree of confidence between them with the accused could abuse. To sum up, being housemate is not sufficient to allege that the second type of qualified theft is committed. This is because abuse of confidence must be alleged in the information and proof of relation by reason of dependence, guardianship, or vigilance between the accused and the offended party. Thank you and may God bless you.